Hey guys, in this video, I'll show you how to create a simple frequency separation action in Photoshop. By the end of the video, you must have learned something new or an improved way to do your retouching. And without further ado, let's get started. First of all, we are going to duplicate the background layer twice. The layer below, we are going to name median. And the one above, we are going to name hard. So you come to the median layer, come to your filter, come to noise, click on median, and then you set a radius. For this, let's set a radius of 8, and I click OK. The next thing you do, you come to hard, you come to image, apply image. On the apply image, you come to layer, change it from merged to median, change the blending from multiply to subtract. Make sure your scale is 2, offset 1 to 8. Now you click on OK. Change the blend mode from normal to linear light. Then you group these two layers together. Give the group a name. Then you click on OK. So if you toggle on and off this group, you are not going to see any change. Because what this group contains are two layers. One of the layer is the one that contains the color. The second one is the one that contains the texture. So if you work on the color, it's not going to affect the texture. And what this basically does is while you smoothing the color and even things out, the texture are going to remain intact so that your image doesn't look too plastic. So one of the easiest way to smooth the color is to use your lasso tool. You cycle around on the skin like this. You right click, come to fader. Make sure the fader value is, fader radius is 30 and click on OK. Come to filter, blow, Gaussian blow. And also apply the blow radius of 30 and I click on OK. So. If you take a look at the area we just apply this blow, you can see before applying the blow and after applying the blow. So you go on to other part of the image. The only thing you need to keep in mind when you make this lasso tool selection is you don't go and select area like this. If you select an area like this, you are going to blow this edge around the nose that gives the image shape and dimension. So that is no good. You make your lasso tool selection like this. Now you right click. Now you select fader, fader radius of 30, click on OK, come to filter, blow, Gaussian blow, radius of 30 again, and then you apply it. You are going to do the same for every other part of the selection. Now if you want to make more multiple selection at once, make sure you click on this instead of this. It's on this by default, so you click on this so that you can make other selection to other areas of the image to fasten the process. So this is a trick you have to keep in mind so that you can do this way faster. Now you right click, fader, fader value of 30, filter. Now if you click on this Gaussian blow showing here, it's going to apply the last value of Gaussian blow you apply. So you just click on it like this. And voila, if you want to remove the selection, you're going to select and you click on deselect. You do the same thing for every other part of the image. From the skin, you go on to the neck area like this and you continue to do this. So that's how easy it is to do frequency separation. But if you want to do this another time, you don't need to come and create these two layers again. You can make it into an action. I'll show you how to create that action in this video. So let's take a look at the before and after applying this. Here was the before applying and here's after it smooths the skin and retains the texture so it's very easy everybody can go on to do this if you find this useful already please smash the like button and leave a fire emoji in the comment section so now we have not really done this nice we have not gone to fix every other portion of the image uh, that is something you have to take time to do but before going to create the action a reusable action that you can use on every other of your image let me show you a one-click approach there's an easier way to do this it's a one-click 
retouching action so if you come to auto fix fs action you click on the auto fix fs action and click on play voila it's going to automatically smoothen your image for you while retaining the texture this action is very handy and very useful to professional commercial photographers that needs time for other things so if you just click on this action you are going to get this result here was the before and here is the after and this is doubtably better than the previous method I showed you. So if you want to contribute to this channel, one dollar, you check the link in the description to get this action right now to save you a lot of time, a lot of stress. And even if you're an absolute beginner, you just install this action. The guide to install the action is in the package you are going to download after contributing just one dollar to this channel. So you get the action and you just play it like this and you get this amazing result. Look at this area before, after. Look at this area before and after. So you can check the link in the description to get this beautiful action that will render your skin flawless while retaining the texture, even leaving it more sharpened than before you apply it. So that is how easy it is to get this action. Check the link in the description to get this action. And for those of you that still need the regular action, this is how to make it into an action the normal frequency separation you can create an action by clicking on this to create a group a set so you name this simple frequency separation you just give it a shortcut now you are going to create you are now going to click the plus icon to create an action we, we call this fs let's just name it fs fs for frequency separation now i click on record anything we do now is going to be recorded so duplicate the background layer twice rename this as usual you name this hard and you name this median now while on the median you just come to filter noise median give it any reduce value that you think will work i'll show you a tip after applying this action so keep watching so click on ok to create the median now come to hard image apply image you see the values where the values i just showed you so you now click on ok change the blend mode to linear light now group this together group from layer you give it simple fs now i click on ok now you see everything we just did has been recorded now i click on the stop button to stop the recording so right now, if you come to your action and you click on the action, I click on play, it's going to create the simple FS action. I now go on to use the lasso tool to apply what we just did. Apply smoothing to the color, to the median layer while you retain the texture. So that's how easy it is to create a frequency separation action. Something to keep in mind is this. If you now try to create another frequency separation action, this is what you are going to get. The command select is not currently available. So to make sure you avoid this uh, command, this error, make sure you flatten your image before applying the action again. So you flatten your image, come to FX, and if you create again, it's going to create this action for you again that you can use. But guys, don't forget the auto fix FX action. Just click on this action right here and then you click on play and this one is going to automatically apply frequency separation to your image voila as simple as this so if you don't want to go through the stress of doing the regular simple normal frequency separation get my action right now link is in the description and in the pin comment by getting the action you contribute to the channel so that i can take more time to create more amazing to try for you and you save time on your retouching so check the link right now to get the auto fix fx action and use it and if you have not subscribed to this channel please subscribe to this channel right now because we'll be putting out more helpful tip trick and photography tutorials wrap your country in the comment section i would like to know the country you are watching this tutorial from i'm happy to be part of your creative journey if you have not liked this video please smash the like button right now happy to be part of your creative journey see you in another amazing tutorial